All right, Shalom. I wanted to bring this out. I've been doing videos, and um, I'm Elder Ezra Ben Yosef. Okay, a group one body in Haya. Okay, live on location in Augusta, Georgia. We have a school called the Augusta Academy. It's the first Hebrew Israelite Bible study academy. Okay, so I'm, I'm real proud of that. So I'm one of the few Hebrew Israelite group leaders that are actually putting some work in this truth <laughs> and set up a real school to help educate our children um, biblical principles and, 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 you know, getting the word of God out. So, uh, but, you know, there's a lot of disturbing things going on in America. I just, you know, by the spirit of the Most High, I just wanted to get it out. So just a quick Bible uh, study lesson here. Okay. And... All right. And I want to... I want to, to address the, the atrocities, you know, that women are doing because, you know, they get been given a pass on everything, okay? And they're only bashing the men. You know, you don't hear about women getting shot down in the streets, okay? The only ones who are being victimized in this earth are the men. And there's a judgment for that. There's a judgment for women who partake in feminism, okay? And I want to get it out here in Isaiah. Okay. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 16. And the Lord our power said, because the daughters of Zion. Okay. This is a judgment. Particularly to the, to the black women. Okay. You know, the world knows that we are Hebrew Israelites. Sirachia. The whole world knows that we are Hebrew Israelites, okay? And by that, everybody's waking up. So it's no secret that, you know, the so-called Negroes, we are the real children of God, okay? So we're just bringing it out, and it's got to come forth that not only the men need to step up and change from their wicked ways, but so does the women. And the Most High does have it in Scripture. See? And women are not to be given a pass. Feminism is evil according to the Bible. Okay? And that's what I'm here to prove in this Bible study lesson. The daughters of Zion are hardy and walk with outstretched necks, glancing wantonly with their eyes, mincing along as they go tinkling with their feet. Now that describes women today. You know? We call bitches, whore, whores, uh, witches, Jezebels, uh, tricks, you know, all of these demeaning words, which, mind you, you know, bitch is not a bad word. The Most High, in His Word, called a woman a bitch. That's a Ecclesiasticus in your Apocrypha. Okay, chapter 25. Okay? And and Christ brought it out when he rebuked in the in the New Testament. How he rebuked a woman and called her a female dog. That's a bitch. You see? So when women act evil, it was customary to point that out. That they were acting evil. In the Apocrypha in the book of Judith, a woman that was killing men. She was demonized in her in, amongst the people. You see? So, you know, we, we, we can't abide with wickedness, whether it comes from a man or a woman, and even less from a woman, because they are supposed to be in subjection to a man. So feminism is evil according to the Bible. Therefore, the most high power, see, judgment to the women will strike with a scab the heads of the daughters of Zion and the Lord our power will lay bare their secret parts. See? And you read the rest of the chapter for yourself. But the Most High has a judgment to women. Too much we hear about um, uh, men being bashed and the evil that men do. 
when the Bible, if you read the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25 and 26, all throughout the um, Proverbs, King Solomon brought out how wicked, how even more wicked the woman is. Ecclesiasticus chapter 26. Okay? The woman is even more evil and that the woman has become a stumbling block. You see that? To our people. Okay? So they need to repent. Women, if you read, and not just in the Bible, it's recorded in history. Okay? Willie Lynch, the, the making of a slave. Okay? White people were instrumental in doing the same thing, you know, that Satan did. All right, let's go there. In the making of a slave, white people did the same thing and keep doing the same thing Satan does to keep to keep the um, to keep women in power. Okay, which shows you that is evil. Turn with me to Genesis chapter three. Let's bring it out. Thus saith the Lord. The Bible said to prove all things. And that's what I'm here to do. Watch this. Right? See, watch this. First chapter, um, Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast in the field that the Most High our power had made. And he said unto the woman, see, he went to the woman first. Why? See? That was the birthplace of feminism right there. The pioneer of the feminist movement was Margaret Sanger. A demonic evil bastard. A Satanist. Who promoted feminism. And, and, and just like Willie Lynch. Just like all of the demonic people. That this world reverence in society. In their history books. They would put the woman over the man. You see that? She would, she would go to the churches and tell the black pastors to, to, to preach the women that they were, that um, contrary to the word of God, that they were, that they were um, not to obey their husbands. You see? And, and that, that, that systematic poison is still going on today. You see? And because the serpent did this, watch this, verse 14, the Lord God, our power said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock and above the, all the beasts of the field. See, in verse 15, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. And he shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. See, and when did this prophecy come to pass? Genesis 25, the birth of Esau, the so-called, what people call white man today, his name was changed to Edom, meaning red, that's why our people call them rednecks, okay, and then Jacob, okay, so-called black man, it's the beginning of your race wars, the beginning of feminism, all of it started with a woman being disobedient to her husband. And that's why in scriptures, if you read 2 Timothy chapter 2, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, all throughout the Bible, all throughout the book of Genesis, it commands women to obey their husbands. You see? I'll prove that. Let's go back to Genesis. <laughs> Let's go back to Genesis, right? See, watch this. Chapter 3 and verse 16. To the woman, the Most High said, I will surely multiply your pain. So women aren't supposed to be exalted in this earth. In this earth. They're supposed to be punished for the wickedness that they do. This is why women are demonized and stuff like that. Because they deserve it. See? Feminism has no place in the Bible. I will multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children. You see that? Let you know that her purpose... That's why in generations ago, they would promote this in society, how a woman should be barefooted and pregnant. Why? Because they understood the scriptures. You see that? Your desire, watch this, and I, I could prove this throughout scripture, watch this. 
your desire shall be for your husband. And he, not she, he shall rule over you. That's what God ordained. That cuts feminism, that cuts homosexuality. Most I didn't create Adam and Steve. He created Adam and Eve for childbearing. That was the purpose of the woman. See that? So it's thus saith the Lord. Feminism is evil according to the Bible. And he and I and I at the water for my brothers who are of great millstone bringing out the word. Okay? And exposing the wickedness of women. They're the only Hebrew Israelite group. Alright? They're the main group who really um, exposes feminism for what it is. And I applaud those brothers. Great millstone. All right, the water to my brothers out there who are preaching this word with sincerity and truth out there in DC, the DC March, you know, chopping it up, getting the word out, standing up to these devils. All right, Kwam Rashriala, Shalawam Akim, and they keep preaching this word with sincerity and truth. This is Elder Ezariah Ben Yosef, Shalawam.